what's up guys it's your boy prince and welcome back to the minecraft guide so today we're going to be doing something special guys today we're going to be doing something real special today at the end of this episode we will be rocking full diamond armor and i'm going to be showing you an easy way of how you can find diamonds yes i have i have been uh, like telling like well uh english again but like i've been dropping hints that i would be like uh, doing uh, the diamond this time in this episode so uh, make sure you stay for the whole episode if you want to know how you can find diamonds very easily okay so guys today we're going to be finding diamonds as i've said before but there will be a couple of things that you'll need that i will talk about here and my food is finished cooking i think i'm gonna need that too okay so guys Today, as I've said a couple of times already, we'll be actually finding diamonds. So we'll be rocking a full diamond armor because, I mean, diamond, I mean, iron pants and iron shoes are good and all, but it's not the best. It's not the best. It's the third best armor in the game. But then we, we, we can do better, guys. We can do better. And I am going to need a bed because today the method that I'll be using to find diamonds will be strip mining i'm sure that a, a couple of you guys may know what strip mining is and i just forgot to mention in episode three i did mention that i'll be doing an interior uh, off camera and what do you guys think i mean from what the house looked like before and now yeah there is a big difference like you know it was just a empty room but now i've put some things inside of it okay so as i was saying if you don't know much about diamond armor, well, it's it's quite useful because, I mean, it lasts really long and it's quite shiny. And if you want uh, if you want to have full diamond armor, then you will exactly need about 27, if I'm correct, of uh, diamonds to make the full diamond armor. And... I kind of need to make a small room here so that I can get in and out but not be afraid of the night. And I've set up a couple of things that you might need when strip mining. Okay, so if you don't know much about strip mining, which will be quite peculiar if I may say, strip mining is, te is technically branch mining, which is technically just digging long tunnels to find diamond and the longer you dig or the more the longer the tunnel may be the more diamonds you'll get okay so the thing about strip mining and finding diamonds if you didn't know if you want to find diamonds you'd have to be at around uh y coordinate 12 and like y or between y coordinate 8 and y coordinate 12 right now i'm at y 71 and that is quite far from where you can find diamonds so i will actually have to start by digging a long staircase going down which might take some time since i only have a stone pickaxe and do i have my iron pickaxe nope i left my iron pickaxe because if you didn't know if you want to mine a diamond and things that are that quite rare you need a iron pickaxe and yeah um i kind of used my iron pick pickaxe a bit but hopefully it should like last me long enough to get uh all the diamond that i need because the goal of the day here is to have enough diamonds for oh snap that is really low it's to have enough diamonds okay now i just need to conserve i don't need that right now i okay as i was saying the goal of the day is to have enough diamonds to be able to make full diamond armor to get a diamond pickaxe a diamond sword and hopefully a diamond for an enchanting table because sooner like quite soon i'll be making an enchanting table set up so that we can get our diamond armor a bit more better because i mean diamond armor is cool and all but enchanted diamond armor is much better and depending on which enchantment you have so as I was saying, you will actually have to mine all the way down and that is quite a long way down. So while I'm still digging here, I might as well just say things that you could possibly find while strip mining. So 
at why today we will be strip mining at around y11 because uh another youtuber said that if you know a person called waddles yeah he said that best place to mine is y coordinates 11 and i possibly agree because when i used to like play minecraft without recording like i would find a lot of diamonds at around y coordinates 11 and things that you should uh thing things that you should probably watch out for when strip mining would be B, caves, ravines, and possibly lava. Because while you're mining out that diamond, there's a chance that it could there would, there would be lava under it, and your diamonds could actually fall in lava, and that would be f quite frustrating. Okay, so as I was saying, things that you can possibly find which are good would be diamond, gold, which is good for trading with piglings. Lapis Lazuri, I hope I pronounced that right, which you can use for enchanting your stuff, like that blue thingy that looks like a sack. And what else, what else, what else? Iron, iron and coal. Down at Y coordinates 11 or so, you'll find really big uh, quantities of coal and iron, which is quite useful, quite useful. But I would possibly say finding iron is better if you're caving. And this will be a long way down. So I might as well just skip until I get to the bottom of this thing. And then tell you wh what you can do from then on. Okay, so guys, I haven't exactly reached the bottom yet. I'm actually still at 32. But I took the time and liberty to s restart this part just to show you that. Okay, so it seems like I ran into a cave. So what do you do when you run into a cave system? Um... Uh, there are quite the options here. First option, what you could do is you can just turn around and go in a different direction. Or you can actually, let's say, block off a uh, part of this thing. Just to actually be able to know that, you know, the, the cave is still there because I'm using dirt to block it off. But then what you should probably watch out for here is creepers. Um, I mean... This thing, what is it? Uh, I, w I would really actually... Oh, imagine that. There's iron right there. Okay, so we'll come back for that iron later. Maybe in episode uh, episode 5. Because episode 5 we'll be doing uh, tips about how you can cave. And is there any mob here? Because you could just have a creeper like standing right next to you. I should make a mental note telling myself that... Yeah, they w remember cave here, iron here. So I will remember that in case I forget. Okay, back to getting back to Y11. Okay, so guys, the thing is that I have dug all the way to Y11. And once you get to Y11, then what? Okay, so what I would say is that you must actually start build yourself a room so that you can, you know put your stuff like let's say a smelter a bed a chest and stuff like that where you can just it's like a, a mini base where you can just store your stuff while you're busy hunting down for some diamonds and what i was actually busy making a uh, thing while i was busy clearing out this room guess what i found some diamonds and these are the first diamonds of the world okay so the thing is that once you find diamonds how should you mine them out Okay, because, you know, lava is a dream kill. Oh, even more. So, since, okay, even more. Since lava is a dream killer and you definitely don't want anything to fall in lava unless it's your greatest enemy, what you should do when you find diamonds is first clear out the surrounding areas. That way you can, like, uh, check, like, exactly what's surrounding the diamond and just, you know, to make sure that you don't lose your diamonds because, I mean... It is frustrating losing your diamonds, especially if you worked hard to get them. But generally, I didn't really work hard to get them because all I did was just dig straight down and then make a box and I got it. And my inventory is already getting full, so I might as well just get a chest. Okay, so that reminds me of something else I probably forgot to mention. It's a probably a good idea. Oh, and I forgot to mention I got more iron, but not that other one from the cave. It's probably a good idea to you know, like, get some wood, like, extra wood, because, I mean, yeah, once you get down there, it'll, it'll be frustrating if you find something, 
and then you can't pick it up because you don't have enough inventory space and you have to go back up to go make yourself a chest and yeah it's frustrating and i did mention that when you find diamonds you will probably need a pickaxe that is made of iron and i feel like i said pickaxe really funny or weird okay it seems like my iron pickaxe is almost oh i thought this would be like eight like a four by f okay i don't know the dimensions yet a two by two if that's what you call it okay it was a it was a good start if you, 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 you yeah but then i thought I'd, i was gonna have more diamonds here but first diamonds of the world and it's four okay so from what i wanted to say um we, we are going to be excluding these diamonds these ones won't be counted these will just be counted they won't be counted okay so once you get down to this level start by making yourself a room probably a three by three room so in case you want slimes to spawn and uh, i guess i can time lapse this part because it's kind of necessarily important but not at the most so yeah i'm just gonna time lapse this part Okay, so guys, I have made the room that was needed, and since now you've got the room, now what? Okay, so at this point, all you have to do is now just make a long 3x3 three three passage. Why 3x3? Three by three by three? Well, if you didn't know, there is a hostile mob called a slime, and it is green. And that mob is quite useful in many ways that include redstone. Do I hear something? Okay, it is useful in many ways that include redstone. And it is probably good to find out where they're spawning from. And if you want to have those big ones spawn, you need a 3x3 three three, uh, platform for it to spawn. And yeah. So this thing, or is it, I'm actually going to need to smelt up some iron because I don't think this pickaxe would actually last long enough to actually hold to actually mine all those that i wanted to mine and do i have enough wood okay yep i have enough and so far the the underground base is already going well things are going well and another thing that i probably forgot to mention because of my lack of preparation is that you need a lot of food depending on how long you want to stay underground so far i brought 35 uh beef and each beef can like it can literally like fill up like three bars i'm, I'm, I'm just gonna call it bars because last time i called it hunger bar and that didn't make any sense yeah so now i just need some iron pickaxes in case i find more and what I was meaning by making a 3x3 three three passage, and where's my pickaxe? Wow, I, are those? Wow, I made pickaxes and they're already breaking. All you te technically have to do is make a passage like this for however long you want to make, right? This passage won't be how you find the diamonds, it'll, it'll, it'll just be for for the purpose of having a clean space so just keep mining this part exactly for however long you want to mine mm -hmm. for however long you want to mine so that each in 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 this passage 
you're gonna have more tunnels like let's say this is, is the passage right let's say we made this passage this long and then this is where there's another passage for us to f like go through and then find some diamonds and then here's another one to like go through and find some diamonds so i hope you understand my drift i think i will have to skip this part because it's 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 pretty straightforward and there's no point in time lapsing it okay so guys this is what i meant by the passage like make a three by three passage and then make little passages like here so you can set branch mining so the thing is that why is there one gap in between well it's because whoa don't tell me i did it wrong okay i just realized something guys i made the wrong spacing so okay so technically it's supposed to be two that way i'm saving a bit more time Eh, we all make mistakes sometimes don't we but either way you get what i mean so i'll be like in i'll be doing a little test here guys so in just one hour I want to see how much diamonds we can get. So I want to put your guys guessing test. Ah, bad English again. You know, I think I really need to like go freshen up on some English here. Okay, so guys, in one hour, I want you guys to guess how many diamonds I can get. Uh, hopefully, it's, it's enough for a full set of diamond armor and more. So let's just skip right ahead. Wait, 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 wait. Pause the video and guess how much. Okay, so guys, um, the thing is I kind of cheated, but by only two minutes because I was busy trying to make my way back from these tunnels. They are quite long now. Okay, so guys, this is what we came up with from uh, today's uh, strip mining session. So far, we have all this redstone all this lapis and 28 diamonds so we have enough to make a full set of diamond armor and a diamond shovel we have gold we have iron and we have coal and the various other blocks that we stumbled upon this was all with just one hour of mining and just for the fun of it let's make the armor this is a momentous occasion and so guys how do i look i'm shining right the knight in shining armor sir prince yeah okay so guys have a nice one and strip mining is definitely the safest way for finding diamonds and the whole other lots of junk well, not junk, but various loot. So, have a nice one, guys. Bye.